going on, man? It's your boy, Kara Cloth. Actually, let me do it a little bit calmer this time. All right, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Creative Cloth, and I'm back with another video, man. Look, if I'm not starting somewhere, I am not going nowhere. It's impossible. You have to start somewhere, right? All right, so this week is gonna be a little bit different. So if you're a subscriber and you know, you freaking my channel, you know that typically this would have been a claw talk week, but life has been a little bit interesting. So I got a new position or a new job title. Um, I'm just trying to get acclimated with that, learn my schedule a little bit more. Um, so I kind of been running behind with content and like obviously recording a YouTube video just because it takes a little bit more time and a little bit more of my attention. So the cloth talk will still be happening. I'm hoping that I could get it recorded maybe this weekend and maybe put out two videos next week, but I'll still try to, I'll try to figure out how this is gonna, you know, transition into a cloth talk week still with it not being a real cloth talk week. Something that I noticed, again, I've said this on different videos, something that I noticed with my channel, typically sneaker reviews are the things that get the most engagement on my channel. So I'm talking like the Red Wing Mottos, I'm talking about the XT6s, I'm talking about the, uh, the Yeezy Boots. Like these are the videos that typically do really well on my channel. And I noticed that one of my videos was coming up on a year. And honestly, when I bought this shoe, I wasn't really expecting it to be a staple in my closet. I was kind of just testing it out. It was during a time when like, you know, this whole craze around like a mule shoe was like really popular and really going off in like the streetwear and like just fashion content creators lives. Like everyone was wearing a mule, whether it be in like the Super Berkeys or whether they've been like other brands that are making like a mule shoe. But obviously I'm gonna be talking about a mule. And the one that I'm gonna be talking about is obviously the ALD Garden Mule. I bought this literally October 22nd and today is October 25th. So I literally bought this a year ago and I can promise you, bro, when I initially bought this, I wasn't expecting it to be such a everyday shoe for me. I was kind of just getting it, hopping on the wave, kind of seeing what everyone's talking about, what's the craze about, because a lot of people were making mules and like making like this type of like structured shoe. So I was like, okay, like, let me see what they are talking about then. And honestly, at the time, even when I bought the shoes originally, I was like, for ALD, $95 is pretty like, that's a fairly decent price. And I just checked their website yesterday. They're still $95. They could have easily, you know, bumped it to 100 or like 110 just because like it is ALD. And like, you know, after they seen people go crazy for this garden mule and seen how many people actually wanted to get these, they could have bumped it up a little bit. So was, I'm glad to see that they are still making the Garden Mule one, and then also that they still kept it, at the, kept it at the same price. And that they still kept it at the same price. I don't think I'm gonna edit that out, bro. Whatever, I don't care. So yeah, this is gonna be just an update, like one year review on how the AOD Garden Mule has held up since I bought it. So comfort wise, I will say for a fact, this, like I have no problems wearing this for more than like 10 hours a day, bro. I can put this shoe on going to the grocery store, going to work. Um, you know, I went on a walk with these. I went to, you know, went to a bar with these. Like I literally have been everywhere and I probably have paired these with everything in my closet. Like it's such a everyday, comfortable shoe just to wear 
just out and about, bro. If you're just going to do anything, I feel like this shoe can just fit every occasion. And it being white definitely plays well into, you know, how things could be styled and all that. But comfort wise, like I really have, that's the update, bro. Comfort wise, oh, it's amazing. Like, that's it, bro. Like, I, I can't put anything extra on that. I'm not trying to sell you because this isn't a paid ad. Um, ALD, yeah. Um, this is not a paid ad, so I'm not trying to like force you to buy it. I'm just saying like, they're still making it and they, they did a lot of colors. They did like a yellow, a green and a black and a, you know, they, I think they're kind of still testing out colors. I know they had like a violet color that I was interested in buying and it actually went on sale too, which is crazy when they were having their sale not too long ago. But again, they're, they're making more and they're like keeping it in rotation. So I think this might be, um, for as long as, you know, ALD, you know, continues to kind of change the, the shoe around or add more colorways to it, this may become a staple in just like their catalog, you know, throughout. Now, durability wise, again, I wear these, like, I probably don't go a week without wearing these. I probably wear these twice a week, if I'm being honest. Durability wise, for me to have had these shoes for a full year, and this is the only damage that is sustained, it's crazy. I'm talking like I legitimately, I bought these in the fall, so obviously rain, you know, I might step in dirt or, you know, just different terrains and, you know, doing all this other stuff that I do just on a daily basis, driving, you know, just other things. For this to be the damage that has been done to a shoe in a year, given that the material isn't like it's rubber, bro, like it's not super constructed well leather or it's not like, you know, some canvas or nothing, it's literally just rubber. I like guess just rubber. And the fact that it's held up and has this shape still, and it's not really too, like it's it's not unwearable right now. Like I could definitely still get a fit off and it still looks very, and it reads very clean and like all that. So like the shoe overall over time has held its own. There may be a few creases just from like, you know, me squatting or like, you know, just like the crease that you normally get in a bend of a shoe. Um, or like little nicks just because like, you know, you might hit like a curb or you might scrape your foot somewhere and like just dirt just because the bottom of the shoe is white. So dirt is obviously gonna show up more on this. But again, this is a year and I've worn, worn these. When you add the extra worn on there, just know I've worn, I've worn, worn these. I've worn, 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 worn. <laughs> but yeah, durability wise, super great still. Again, I wear these twice a week easily honestly just like some last thoughts on the shoes itself again durability wise comfort wise everything is just like across the board it's tens honestly i can't really give it any more praise than i already gave it like really great shoe and sizing again i went with a nine nine and a half that's how they scale it on their website again they have this extra piece or the insole in the shoe that could be removed or you could keep it in just depending on whether you're like a true nine or if you're like a true nine and a half you could take it off and still wear like that. I personally haven't had any issues with that. I do notice that if I wear like a thicker sock, it's hard for me to kind of get my foot placed in the shoe. But all in all, like I, like again, I have worn this day in, day out. I have never worn it without the insole. But again, like I'm like a true nine, nine and a half and I haven't had any issues as far as like sizing. So, you know, you take that information for what it will. But again, the AOD Garden Mule still holds up, bro. It's still a dope shoe. And I'm thinking about, honestly, I'm thinking, I'm honestly thinking about buying a black pair, bro. Just so I can have a white variant and a black variant, just because like, you know, those things you can style with anything black and white, like are just like staples that you kind of build off or you can build outfits on. So again, Garden Mule from AOD, Tens across the board, bro. Like tens across the board. If you've been on the fence and you watched my previous video and you was like, mm, I don't know, he may be, he only wore it for a couple days. I don't know how you gonna feel about it. A year later, a year later, I still wear these faithfully. I pack them on trips. I pack them everywhere, bro. And I have Birkenstocks, like the typical Boston's. I have the tote pair. I have Birkenstocks. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and say it because people like to really play up Birkenstocks a lot. These might be more comfortable than Birkenstocks, but I know some of you are not gonna take that well, so yeah. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Is a garden meal still a staple or did it kind of fizzle out? I want to hear y'all feedback on this. Again, this is just an update video, so it's not really like new to the people who've already been on my channel, but I just had to let y'all know, bro. This has been a year since I had this shoe and I still faithfully wear it. But with that being said, without further ado, I'll catch y'all in the next one. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but I love, I love the way you work it. Hey, I love the way you work it for.